Hello guys, welcome to BISP training. So today I will be showing you how to create an import format in FTMWE. So let's say this is my source file which I am receiving from my source and it is a multi-period file. When I say multi-period file, I mean that in a single file I have data columns corresponding to more than one periods. So the first step to define the import format is I will be adding a dummy row in my data file. The reason being is I want to count the number of fields. This will help me to easily define it in my import format. So when I number this from one to all the data, all the columns, when I number it, I get the sequence in which they are like which column has which sequence number. So sequence number one, that is first column is for account dimension. I will highlight this. So first column is for account dimension, second is for scenario, third is for entity and starting from fourth to 15th are my data column. So I'll be showing you how do we develop an import format to accommodate and load this multi-period data file into FTMWE. So let's get started. To create an import format, we'll have to navigate to the setup tab and then the import format. So first I'll go to the import format and then click on add. This will add a dummy row in my import format. You can see that here the target application is mentioned as one of the target application. You can always change the target application by changing the application over here. So first I will be naming the import format. Let me name it as test import format. Test underscore IF. Okay. So my source is a file and I want to load multi-period data file. That means mine is a multi-column numeric data. Okay, the, these options may vary based on the FTME version that you are using. I am using 11.124.210. So my options are different from the base version. Okay, so carefully guys, I have selected multi-column numeric data, which means that I have multiple columns of numeric data. I click on save. So my test import format gets saved. Now if I come to bottom, I see that all the dimensions of my target application are present over here. Now I want to load from my source file. I am getting only three dimension account scenario and entity. So just for your information that we do not load scenario period and year in our import format. They are taken care in category and period mapping. So in my import format, I have to be concerned about the dimension other than scenario. So first I'll have to put account entity and then my data column. So my account is column number one. So I will go to the column in the account column over here, account row over here. And then in the account row, I will name this row as account. And my field number is one. And then I have the entity. My field number for the entity is three. In my data file, the amount column spans from column number four to column number 15. So for that, I will put the starting field number as four and then click on save. Once my import format is saved, I can click on the expression tab and click on add expression. This will open up the expression window. I will click on the drop down and select column start comma end. So my multi-period column are going to start from column number four and going to add at column number 15. So I will add four comma 15 and click on okay. This will add column equal to 4 comma 15, which means my data column starts from column number 4 and adds at column number 15. I'll click on save. My import format is saved. 
Now I can use this import format to load the data. I'll go to the data load rule and I'll create a new data load rule. Let me say I'm creating a test data load rule. I'll select the new import format. My target plan type will remain as fin statement. I click on save and my data load rule is saved. I'll click on to select the data file. So I'm selecting the data file. Again, I'll save it. Now, since my import format is a multi-period import format, I have the flexibility to run it for all the 12 months. So I can trigger the load from October to September. So I will trigger the load from October 17 to Sorry, I will trigger the load from October 16 to September 17. So I'm triggering the load for one whole year. I'll click on run. So you can see that if I go to the process detail to see the process that is running, I'll go to the process detail. When I click on this process, you can see that the load is running for all the periods okay so you can see that the load is basically running for 12 periods i'll refresh it and you can see that import is done okay so there are some transformation error so that may be because of the mapping issue so we can ignore that so overall this is how we load these multi-period data into our system so my I'll, I'll, I'll navigate to the data which is september 16 click on okay yeah so because of the uh, mapping issue it's not showing us but this is how we can load multi-period data into our system using import format so thanks for watching guys